Hello Scorpio, welcome into your reading. This is the second week of April reading from the 8th until the 14th of April and we are going to see um, what situations are unfolding at this time, what it is that you need to know and even advice. We're also going to look and see what we do not see coming. Okay, so let's start out. Let's see if there's any challenges or any situations unfolding around you at this time and see where this is all going. So let's see what card will come out for you. We've got solitude okay in silence peace prevails for me I actually love this card a lot it's almost reminds me of the hermit which is Virgo's energy but this card is talking about how you're living in your life and sometimes it can indicate that we need to um, pull away from situations or from people in our lives or even events that are taking place and look at what is going to bring us peace and calmness and this feeling of um, you literally putting yourself first. This is what this card is all about. It's putting you and yourself first. Sometimes when we are involved in a specific situation in our lives, when we are so closely attached to something or we're in the middle of the storm that we're in, it is not peaceful in the middle of a storm, isn't it? Sometimes we have to pull away from it and seek shelter so that we can start to see things clearly. So let's see what this is all about for you. Got the Queen of Wands coming in here. We've got the Five of Pentacles coming up as well. There is a fear here with regards to a, a, a fear of loss of something or something has been lost. Yes, the Ace of Wands, Reverse Position and the Fool card. So you've had to step away from that storm. This is a reading for somebody who has already done so. You've made a decision here to step away and out of the storm. You've decided to let something go and have a new start, but it's very scary it's an unsure new start and it's almost like you had no choice in some certain matter there could have been a person that also um there was a lack of interest from a certain situation that took place here because the ace of wands talking about an inspired new beginning or a new start sometimes it can also indicate somebody shows a lack of interest in something and that can also be what makes you feel like um you know, you had to step out of a situation because it wasn't really moving forward the way you wanted to go. This is like a lack of stability. It shows that it's already taken place because it's in the reverse position. I do see you also with the Queen of Wands coming in here trusting your intuition almost like listening to the soul you're listening to your soul here that you need to pull away your energy and you need to step out and even though it feels scary with a full card being here it could have been a relationship that you stepped out of or some kind of situation it could have been anything to be honest and um it's it's you seeking that solitude i do see you doing this i see you making that decision for yourself okay um pulling back that energy to be in a place of peace so let's see what we do not see coming here got the queen of cups very nice you got the emperor in the reverse position you got aries coming in there the ace of pentacles the ten of cups you are right and the nine of swords you're right you're right to do what you're doing and i'm going to read the energy under this deck still i'm just going to put the deck down over here um to see advice coming in a little bit later for you in the reading um you you definitely did do the right decision here it's something that was not going to move on. I can see with the two aces being in the reverse position. I feel like you wanted stability in something. You wanted to have um, the Ten of Cups, literally. You wanted to be able to get to a place. It could have been a relationship or a dream that you had or a work situation, anything. Um, you wanted this to be very strong. With the Emperor coming in, we've got Aries coming in here. I feel that it could have even been a person's energy. The Emperor in the reverse position is an indication of somebody being very cold and very shut off and very... Um, not open at all and not having emotion um, for anything and it can be tied to somebody's behavior and because of this cold kind of behavior it's like you were trying to create this dream with somebody that's this is interesting it's almost like you're trying to create a dream with somebody you're trying to create a reality that is the ten of cups which is in a very emotional card it talks about how you're feeling living in your life the relationships that you have the warmth the comfort the the connection that you have in your life with a person but you cannot have that connection there is no warmth inside the emperor reverse position the emperor in the reverse position does not, is not warm at all. That is a cold, dry, arid situation over there. And you cannot create that kind of life with a person like this. 
Okay. And I feel like this is what made you get here. It's what made you get to this place, even possibly now, still thinking a lot about the situation. But what you do not see coming here is that you have made the right decisions. You have done the right thing for yourself. And um, it is going to be what your decisions, your choices that you've made is going to lead you to this peace and happiness that you are looking for. I do see you being very careful with your heart. I see you being very careful, very cautious with your heart and what you do um, with the situations in your life, the people in your life, and I see you being very careful. I want to get some advice, but the decision you made is the right one. That's what I can pick up. Let's see the advice that comes through. The happiness that you're looking for is still coming. The happiness that you're looking for, the growth that you're looking for, the love that you're looking for, the life that you're looking for, the warmth that you want to feel, the growth in your life, the change that you want to see is coming. There is an emotional, and by the way, I just checked under the deck, guys. It's a two of cups, yeah. The love that you're looking for is still coming. It is still coming. But I do not feel like it is this person, to be 100% honest with you. And I think you know that. I think you know that. They cause too much pain in your life here. The decision you've made to move forward here, to pull away your energy, to go into solitude is the right decision. The emotion and the love that you're looking for is still coming. But you're going to find it inside of yourself first, which is actually the secret. I'm just saying, guys, it's actually the secret to finding love to find it within you first and the only way you find it inside of you is to go into solitude to know who you are to love the energy that you are when you do that it's going to be what brings us in it's not long from now okay it is not a long wait okay the sun card means happiness that is to come you just have a little bit of a waiting period i feel like it's not that long from now you're well on the way towards finding this love in your life thank you so much for coming in my beautiful uh, scorpio i'm sending my love to you bye